welcome back to my channel and today I have this Kia electrical automatic transfer switch yeah I had uh, this one again a video where the automatic transfer switch was there which worked electronically but I had the problem with that that the relays were always stuck sometimes and it was not very much reliable when I needed so I looked again and this is one of the smallest I would say automatic transfer switch which is <coughs> to be attached on the DIN rail so we'll see what is there and whether it works or not so let's see what is inside Hmm. This thing is massive. I would say massive. It has this dim rail switch. Has one G two R sixty three transfer switch manual. Let's see what does it says. So this comes in two variants, two cable and four cables, which is maximum for 63 ampere given. And this is how it needs to be connected. The first one goes to main power the second one goes to backup with load and neutral with connections and then this goes to the load and it has a switch automatic or manual yeah i said this is massive just for this comparison of the other switch you can see okay height matches and also the width but in comparison you can see how massive this edge yeah so it has green and red auto and manual switch and set it to manual yeah, this is tough so let's add it to the switchboard and see how does it works so and this is how it is connected here this one is the load going to this switch box and the first one is connected to the main power and the second one is to the auxiliary power and currently there is <coughs> no power coming from the inverter so let's see does it works or not i will now turn on the inverter and we will see yeah the meter is showing the voltage and this is also still on the main one so first put it into the manual one and <coughs> switch to the backup mode currently the manual one is it is taking around 13 watts and the inverter one is not taking any watts so let's switch it and we can see now this one from inverter is now taking 13 watts and here it is around 0.9 watts so this thing takes around 13 watts for itself to work and let's see if the manual or the automatic switching works or not so i put it to a auto and it should switch to the mains 
and voila it works yeah this way it fulfills my purpose and i would say it's a good investment and it works flawlessly in auto mode oh okay so for 10 15 euros it's a good buy <coughs> i got it from ali and i would say it fulfills my purpose that's why in my opinion it can be bought yeah then thanks for watching it is a, it is a short video thanks for watching subscribe and like and share make it to the thousand subscribers i would be thankful thanks for watching have a nice day